Hello, Booktube. I'm Scott. I'm Matt. We are Gunpowder Fiction and Plot, and Nell, there is a square on your face on the TV screen. <laughs> this is not going to make for a good video, you... Although, that is how our intro started. Squares on our faces. like us to get sidetracked before we've even like introduced what we're talking about today anything um that's now i'm scott we're doing a tag video it's the booktubian tag now this was created by the life of miranda who is uh an uh, it was created four years ago um, but they're still a current booktuber um and we were tagged by kim at middle of the book march and this looks like a really interesting tag. Well, let's get into it. Come on. Okay. Who or what got you into BookTube? Uh, my husband. You think? Yeah, I think it's your fault. You think it's my fault. Okay. So, I'll tell you the story. And it's a long and ridiculous convoluted story. But somebody will find it interesting. We, uh, prior to starting the BookTube channel were like obsessed with the idea that you could make money on YouTube and there were people doing it with travel vlogs. So we started to watch a whole lot of travel vlogs and realized that money was actually a, a problem and it was a huge gamble and we probably wouldn't be able to travel the world and, and have YouTube pay for it. And have YouTube it's pay a nice for fantasy, it. isn't but it? But that it was somehow possible. So we decided to experiment. We decided to go, well, what's something we really like that we can make videos about just to see how it works? And then we discovered BookTube and then we started making BookTube videos and... I don't know what the results of the experiment are, but now we have a hobby. <laughs> yeah, it got, it got sidetracked. Yeah. So uh, the experiments are you probably can't make money on BookTube unless you're very lucky or have a lot of time, or care about attention to detail a lot more than us. <laughs> um, Aren't also running another business, all yeah. of those things. Perhaps it would help if you were, like, chronically unemployed and, like, hungry. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I do recommend quitting your job, becoming homeless, and buying a camera if you were considering starting a YouTube channel. Uh, to make money. Channel. Yeah. 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 Um, oh my god, can you smell that? The dog farted. The dog it? farted and then left the room. I mean, he probably doesn't want to be around the stink. No, it stinks. It's um, really bad. It's only over your side of the room, oh. so I'm, I'm not going to swap chairs with you. Well, fine. Question number two. How did you choose your channel name? Uh, that was me. It was your idea. So we came up with an idea, like, most of them is like, book reads and... <laughs> You know. We also work in an industry where um, we're greengrocers, so a lot of the business names uh, for greengrocers are like Green Fresh Stuff. Yeah, Fresh Fresh. Market Daily, <laughs> Green Fresh. Yeah. yeah, yeah, everything has to have fresh in it. Yeah, Fresh um, Apple Crunchy. Yeah, Crunch Fresh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so we didn't want to have a cliched name, and we thought... We also wanted to have a name where we knew that you would know that it was a booktube channel. So we wanted to have a shout to like books in it somehow. Well, yeah. So we decided to like find a saying or a cliche or something to to twist. And in the uh, end... At some point we got stuck on the remember, remember the 5th of November. And we were just throwing backwards and forwards um, what would fit into that poem or that. Yeah. And then it appeared. And yeah, it was just... Nell just said it. And, and it we was, kept coming back to it. And that was, that was just it. Yeah, yeah. So no treason or plot. No, or fiction. Yeah, no treason. Yeah. Now I can't say the gunpowdered treason plot without accidentally <laughs> saying, saying it fiction. the other way <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah. Um... Who are the first friends you made on BookTube? I think the first friend we made on BookTube is Danny. Danny. Yeah. I think uh, and then very quickly after it, Ange with an E. Um, yeah, I think we did a, a buddy read with Danny and I 
think it was the month after we did it with Ange and they were just two like amazing buddy reads. We've had Zoom chats with both of them. Um, we, we talk to them on Boxer regularly still and they're just two quality people. They're both funny, they're both interesting and... Um, we love them. Yeah, they're just... They're first class people and you should subscribe to their channels. I will put them in the... Yeah. Description. So go subscribe to them and come back here. Yeah. Um, why do you love reading books? Um, how long is a piece of string? Um, I, I, I think reading books brings a lot to my life personally. I really like, um, the escapism. I like how much I can learn. Um, but I, I definitely have realised I had a bit, of, a bit of a like a decade long hiatus from reading properly and reading um, as much as I like to, and I've only just like the last since we started our bookshoe channel, so a bit more of a year, consciously tried to put it back into my life, um, and I realised that for me it's a kind of self care. It's a kind of um, time where I relax and stop thinking about my business and uh, turn off all my worries and have almost like a meditative contemplative space in my brain um, and it, I don't know how I did 10 years without it because it's I think it's as essential as sleep wow yeah um, I need intellectual stimulation um, or you'll die or I'll die I I really will. I will seek intellectual stimulation through any means I can. Um, and I quite like literature. I am not an English student. I have never studied English. It is not something I feel particularly strong or intelligent in. I have my opinions about the books I read. I like to read like literary fiction, but I don't think that that makes me knowledgeable on it. But the fact that there's like so much intellectual food there yeah. and there's so much scope for me to learn and to figure things out. And, you know, when you watch people analyze books that you've read and you see that they notice things and you like, you can learn what they do and, oh, it just, it's so much brain food in a book and it's so, and so many books, this, it's so open ended where if, if I were to like, just go and research, like I used to, I used to drive you crazy. I one of my God. one of my interests is human He's evolution. Killing computers. That's what his interest is. To have as many tabs open <laughs> on a computer as possible until it dies. I, I did used to, I fall down Wikipedia holes and oh. I'd have like twenty Wikipedia tabs mm. up and then various other sites. But no, I, I really liked human evolution and I used to just go and tell me like oh, they've discovered this fossil in um, <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> And they think it means blah, blah. And, and then I have this theory about this and, and, you know, and even like human evolution, not what I studied at university, no, not anything I'd consider myself an expert in. No. Um, I actually prefer to learn about stuff that I don't know much about. Yeah. Like, cause I, you know, I know a bit about physics. I'm sure there's so much new physics out there that I don't know about, but it sort of doesn't quite grab the attention as much as it used to. I think I feel like I've conquered it and I also think like when you're learning the first things about something, your progress is fast and it's Yeah. It's like that's the exciting bit of learning. When you actually get up to expert level every new thing is a harder slog and Yeah. Also, do you, do you know what I really hate? Um, I hate going back and realizing that I've forgotten how to do something and, and having, having to, to relearn, relearn it. Ugh, oh, it's the worst. geez, that, that sucks. So that is one of the reasons why I do avoid yeah. that. Um, but sometimes, yeah, I don't know, but intellectual stimulation is why I read. Cool. Um, what is your favorite way to make a film, camera, lighting, makeup, etc.? Um, yeah, um, yeah, we definitely go to a lot of effort to 
Well, like, Scott wears tons of makeup. Yeah. He's yeah. Just, it takes him two hours I'm really to put a that reptile. face on. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, um, I look like a wrung out rag most of the time. When we film, we sit in front of a um, webcam in our reading room and talk bollocks. We do have some lights which we're not using at the moment, but they are there daytime. for when we film at night or or whatever. Um, it's not a ring light. It's do you know what? Do you know what? It's it's this. Oh, 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 oh! Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there we go, and we're back. It's one of those actually purchased for photography for. Our small business, because product photos are an important part of what we do. I think I've munged up the shelf here. Yeah, you've moved it that way. Ooh, ooh. See what happens when you let Scott touch the camera. It's all ruined. Yeah, that was silly. Um, what's the question? What's your favourite way to film? Um, I think we like have a vague discussion about what we're going to shoot before we shoot. And then we shoot And then it. we film. Sometimes we'll write answers down and other times we'll just... Talk bollocks. Sometimes it's just, we're going to do this tag. Yeah. Um, but we always read the questions out to see if we... If anything's going to slip us up we need, and we need to pre-prepare an answer. We basically try and save Scott as much editing as we can uh, because otherwise I have to help him and that's sad. Yeah, and it like takes me. Everybody says it takes double, but I've noticed it takes me at least three times. The if it's half an hour, it takes me an hour and a half to do the editing. Yeah. Yeah. Um. What was your first collab and a co collab and who was it with? Collaboration and who was it with? I what think it? that it was with Nashua when we did like a a Zoom chat and discussed. Yeah. Like literature around the world and Pakistani literature and... We will link to that video. It was a pretty cool one. Um, I can't think... Like we've done things like buddy reads before that and... Um, yeah, I was going to say Sean was our first one, but Nashua was well before that. Yeah, Nashua was before Sean, but we we did a buddy read... Oh, not a buddy read, a, a Zoom chat with Sean and a 1-1... One, one, we've done a lot of those pages. We've done a 1-1-2 one, one, tag with Sean... With Sarah MG and with Kieran at KD yeah. Books. Uh, and they were all fun. And all fun in quite different ways. Um, and then Sarah sent us a bunch of books and asked us to guess who the author was. And we were... We miserably failed. We failed at that. We sent Sarah a bunch of books. But I don't think she ever made her video. So Sarah, if you're watching, make the video. We want to know if you got them right or not. You probably know the answers now already. Because you had probably had or something next but yeah um what keeps you going with booktube I uh, mean I like talking to my husband you guys are fun yeah I think makes me read more which is awesome the community um I know everyone like it's such a it's such a cliche answer but but it's legitimately true. I think anyone who has any kind of longevity on BookTube, it's because they've made relationships with people on BookTube. Like, our community is freaking awesome. Um, it's... Uh, it's the kindest comment section on all of YouTube. Like, there's no... There's not a lot of Negatron going on. I'm literally surprised when there is a negative comment. When I see a negative comment on You're YouTube, like, I'm like, huh? <laughs> No, What's I must have misunderstood that. You clearly uh, must be trying to say something that's not that. And then, and then when a booktuber says a negative comment, I'm like, no, that that didn't happen. That's <laughs> um, trans people are people. You must have made a spelling mistake. Yes. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, I think if if you're not here for the community, then I'm not. I think lots I'm not of people, sure you're having the same experience that I am. Lots of people probably don't join for the community, but once you start to get yeah. into the community, everybody is nice and lovely. And literally, the, the problem that I have with BookTube is that there's too many nice and lovely people and not enough hours in the day to interact with... With everyone we'd with like to talk everyone to. everyone I'd like to interact with. We're also with. crap at that. 
in general. We are in very life. crap at that. If if we have interacted with you in the past and have not... And you're like, oh my god, why are they not talking to me? It's because we're shit. We're, we're shit. So just, you like, send us a box a message or an email or, yeah. or whatever, however you We're not ghosting us. you. Yeah. We yeah. don't ghost anyone. We are, we, yeah, like, we're, we are just shit. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, yeah, and bookish people, just so much better than mm, people than you would meet. People at large. Yeah. Like... And I've got to say, when we first started bookshipping and everyone says this answer to this question, it's like, what wankers? But now that I've experienced the love that is booktube community, I, like, it's not actually wank. I've never felt such belonging and acceptance, like, them. Uh, I mean, I have, but, like, only in friendships that I've cultivated for, like, literally decades. Do you know what I mean? Like, I've got... I've got besties that make me feel this level of belonging, but I literally but they're my besties. <laughs> I think that we could ask people to like go through our all the channels we sub to, find a channel that we don't sub to, and we could literally like meet that person in a cafe and or, make friends with them and make and like I know, and, and know we would get along. Yeah, and we're not socially skilled people. So. Um, anyway, and, yeah. we've, we've really crapped on about this. Oh uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> How do you respond to hate messages slash comments? I just don't think we get many. And when we do, I delete them before Scott can argue with them. <laughs> that's my um, that's my objection. Because he can waste a whole day arguing with a bigot. There was one commenter that um, we blocked um, who was... I have seen him post on other people's YouTube, on other people's booktube. Always really nice to them. Always felt like he was... Like, super critical? Yeah, I just... I'm like, yeah. am I misunderstanding your sense of humour? And then one day they posted something. I'm like, I just cannot misunderstand that. You just don't like me and I don't know why you're watching yeah. us. And, and so I've blocked that person and I'm so happy to have blocked that one person. It was... That, that one person, it was like anxiety inducing every time you saw on a notification that they had commented yeah and normally i'm i'm like yeah he comments yeah. like um yeah so that um the dark emu video got a lot of hate from outside of booktube and i turned comments off on that after wasting days days and days and days arguing with and, and again i've said this before but those arguments started with me going, but you haven't read the book and never been proved wrong on that no, yeah. front. Like, um, um, I think there's been one or two other examples of hate, but it's by far the, the minority experience. I get far more hate for being a oh. fat, loud woman on Facebook. Do you know what I mean? Like, um, I, I got hate in my Wuthering Heights review when I suggested he could be black. Oh my god, anything racial or trans related, um, there definitely seems to be a bit of kickback. And we get hate when, with the Chimamanda video, we got a lot of hate. Yeah. Um, not so much when but I, it, I... I've got to say, like, the hate is pretty impersonal. It, it's not generally aimed directly at us and being hurtful. I've never gotten hate from anybody I, I knew who they were. Yeah, that's, that's it's always from him. outside the community, as far as I can tell. Um, yeah, yeah. So I think that that is, um, and and usually it's block and move on. Yeah. Um, what is your favorite author and book series? There can be more than one. Um, okay. There's definitely more than one. I love a lot of people. Going into BookTube, I would have said Hardy, Elliot, and Duma. Uh, after BookTube, I have to add a Quakey Amazie to that list. I feel like there are other authors I absolutely love that I maybe need to read a few more books before I put them in that same class of love. Yeah. Uh, if you ask me this today, my answer is going to be Bridget Collins because holy hell, the binding is amazing and I'm nearly done. Um, but, um, going into booktube, I would have said E.L. Doctor O, um, I would have said, 
Martavia Butler Butwood. <laughs> I would have said Margaret Atwood, but now I would definitely add Octavia Butler and uh, maybe Natasha Pulley. Um, just heaps of people. I love authors. They're all amazing. They do amazing stuff. Series is... Uh, no. I'm not a series fan. If you write a sequel, that is one too many books. Um, I did enjoy... The Lost Future of Pepper Harrow. Um, I mean, I'll give it a shot, but I still think my opinion is the correct length for a series is one. Yeah, I, I totally agree. And it should have been The Lost Pe- Future of Pepper Harrow. The second book is... Better than the first. Better than the first. Um, but both could have been combined into a big fat volume and I would have been happy with that. Uh, anyway, yeah, okay. but that would be my favourite. Uh, any advice for others that are on BookTube? Use this chance to speak up uh, as speak up about you as a person in the community. Um, I will say we got a comment on one of our recent videos that our microphone was in the wrong spot and our sound quality was not good. I have noticed that other BookTubers have poor sound volume. I did not realise that we were one of those booktubers. Uh, and by the way, uh, you can see the microphone. We've moved it. Is it better? If it's not better, let us know. Please let us know in the comments. Um, but if you are worried that you are one of those booktubers... Well, you probably are. Um, let us know and I'll, I'll, I'll flat out tell you exactly whether you are or not. Um, it's something that I, I never want to say when I read that because I feel like I'm being critical. But also I know that people kind of want to know it. So if you're worried that that is you, just ask. Uh, I definitely think it is so much more important. Like everyone worries about picture quality and like what sort of camera they use and blah, 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 blah. But sound is so much more important um, for BookTube anyway. Like we're not, we're not showing fancy beaches or what a nice hotel looks like. We're, we're talking about books. And so being able to hear the conversation is essential. I often, I watch BookTube when I'm like making breakfast. I watch BookTube like I, I, have a speaker in the shower and I listen to booktube I cannot see the screen like which is good because you that's weird that is weird but you um, are weird you know I make sure I pick a long video for that so normal people sing in the shower yeah well I'm glad you don't I'm not encouraging you I have a habit to feed and any chance I get um, you are an addict also one of our commenters has this morning said that they watch us in the bath. So, you know. Um, what is it? Um, Tell me later. I, I, you can read our comments later and oh. see who it is. It's, it's, it's somebody that you know. It's, it's, That's nice. It's one of our super fans. Super fan. Super fan. They maybe wear a cape. They don't wear a cape. Hopefully not in the bath. That sounds difficult. Unless you need to wash the cape. No. Did you watch Sean's video the other day where he said that Cape and Cap have the same derivative? Yes, I really like those videos that Sean makes. The etymology ones. They're awesome. Yeah, that was so interesting. Um, anyway, that's gone off topic. That's it. Um, there's not a prompt to tag people on But this. we should. We should. Uh, we should tag people. Um, let's tag uh, And with an E. Mm-hmm. I'd Can like, we tag Kit? Let's tag Kit. Yeah, okay, awesome. Um, I'd like to tag Jen at Remember Reads. Um, mm-hmm. 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 And let's make it an even four. That's your favourite number to tag. It is. Uh, like the very first tag video we did, it's a tag four people. And, and you've obsessively done four, and, is, unless there's another that's instruction. Uh, and the last person I would like to tag is Melissa at Fully Booked. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Um, four great channels. Check them out if you haven't already. Okay. Love you. Bye. <laughs>